Hi, Jason at Golf Principles here. I'm just going to take two minutes or maybe a bit longer to talk about angle of attack with a driver, right? For those of you out there who hit it down with a driver, stop, right? You need to try and feel like, at you know, worst case, you're going to be zero, and at best case, you're going to be on the up. Some of the best drivers in the world are positive two degrees, maybe three, but two's a nice number. Some of the worst drivers in the world are minus four, minus five. Charlie Howe, for instance, hits down, say, four or five degrees. Now, why is hitting down on a driver bad? Well, okay, in simple view, the driver has a bulge and a roll. Okay, the metal ones are a bit less than the old wooden ones used to have, but effectively, a 10 degree driver has a 10 degree bulge and roll curve to it. So when you're hitting it down, two things can happen. Well, three actually. You can hit it out of the middle, and it's going to come out low and probably a little bit pushy squirty because you're coming down, and normally it means you're coming slightly from the inside. Very few guys hit down from the outside. Some of the better players, anyway, will hit down from the inside. Some of the lesser players will be definitely chop slicing it. If you hit it high up the face, you're going to get the head will rock back. So there's a centre of gravity in the club. You hit above it, the club was going to rock back. That's going to give you the, 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 the high lollipop shot. Or you're going to hit it below centre of gravity and you're hitting down and that's going to squeeze it even more. Now, if there's one place to hit a driver, it's not down there, low on the heel. That's the worst spot in the world to hit it. That's going to give you a really spinny shot. So the idea is, imagine it's like a teeth on a gears. If you hit down, it's going to squeeze. That is going to do that. It's called a vertical gear effect. That's going to give you the ski jumper. The old one with no power and just spins up in the air. That's a disaster. So those of you out there working on the range, and you know who you are because you break loads of tees. You've got people like Greenpeace chasing you for deforestation. If you're hitting down and your handle's in front and you're trapping it and you're just chopping it, trying to feel that you're creating a wider, shallower base. So instead of having that little V attack angle, have a nice wide U. So try and feel you're going to get a lot wider, a lot shallower, keeping the face and the thing together, almost like you're brushing it, pushing it forwards. Right? Don't lean back on it. That's probably one of the things I would say that is the obvious one people do. They go, okay, I'll hit up on the ball, and they try and hit it off their back foot. And all they do is they swing massively inside it, catch it at the heel, and then heel hook it, and think, that was a waste of time. So, please, 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 if you know your shoe size, you should know your attack angle with a driver. Right? Any golfer worth his salt should know where he is with a driver swing. Right? It's different for an eye, I've done that before, I won't do it again. But with driver, please, 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 those of you out there, if you want to drive it better, hit it on the up, or worst case zero, you will always be okay. Try and avoid the pinch. And if you hit a three wood a really long way with a really low ball flight, chances are you're getting steep and trapping on it, and hence why you've got to be looking at trying to shallow it out. Any questions as always, try and get hold of me. But Try and work on that attack angle.